Hello everyone, I'm the Crimson DM, and welcome back to Crimson Plays. Today we're playing Rhythm Zone! It's a little game from 2010 that seems to have completely disappeared off of anywhere. And, uh, basically, it's a Guitar Hero game for your computer that lets you use your own music and creates tracks that actually play really well with pretty decent note placement. Now, of course, I've almost all exclusively played it with, uh, like, you know, dance song type things because I, I'm using a lot of fan music, but it works really well. Like, Fluttershy's Lament and uh, Hard Drive are two of my favorite songs to play on this thing so far. But, I wanted to show this game off because I feel like it's deserving to be seen. I do need to give a warning though. One, there is a lot of flashing lights, so seizure warning. Two, um, when I play this, my eye, like after a session of playing this, my eyes start getting a little bit weird and things are a little bit hard to see. It's kind of like if you're playing on the friggin' uh, Virtual Boy, but in all honesty, I tend to have more sensitive eyes. So I think it's a I think it's a me problem, but it might be a problem with other people too. Um, I suspect it has to do with the way they do their layers. Of course, because the game is completely dead, and as far as I can tell, the company is gone. Um, there's no chance in heck that we're getting that fixed. So if you can deal with the fact that it's going to be a little bit weird, you got a good little game on this ha on your hands. Now, another thing I want to point out is when you're porting a song over from your collection, it will ask you if you want to save the data or if you want to, uh, like, it'll ask if you want to use the titles and information that's presented in the song. If you click yes, it deletes all of it. If you click no, it keeps the name of the song in there by itself, which is completely stupid. But, you know, that's what we get. So, I'm going to play a couple songs and not talk while I do, and I hope that you guys just enjoy the game. I am using fandom songs, like from Undertale and My Little Pony, so that people, uh, so that YouTube is a little bit less willing to uh, throw hammers at me that have the word ban labeled across them, because, you know, YouTube's very, very fair. Alright, I'll get, I'll, I'll let you guys enjoy the game.
that they can root for and I will give them everything cause they need a monster that they believe in and I will be their shining darling But I don't know, she's not a tree, right? She's not a tree, Dash. Check it out, I bet you can't beat me. Not a tree, 
Okay, so you'll notice that the screen is black because I had to redo my outro really quick. Um, I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I wanted to say that I am recording this game for documentation period. Uh, I want to say that I'm recording this game for documentation purposes. As, well, I like the game and I want to show it off and I don't want the game to just disappear. I also want to say that you can buy the core game on Amazon.com for about 10 bucks. It's going to be very difficult to run. As far as I can see, the developers are gone. Sonic Boom Games. Ironically, their name is Sonic Boom. I mean, I don't see why. I, I can't see why there'd be a problem there. Um, they're gone, as far as I can tell. They don't even have a website, a website or anything, so. It's kind of impossible to figure out what's going on there. And if you liked my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you know of any other music games that are in this genre that I may not know of, uh, let's skip over Frets of Fire. I looked into that. I don't like the way that you import music. Um, or any other really neat and possibly weird music games. That'd be awesome. Um, and as always, thanks for watching. Adios.